Hello, I'm Dr. Torrance, a podiatry fellow at the University of Michigan. Two of the goals at Michigan Podiatry are to prevent diabetic foot ulcers and diabetic foot amputations. I'm going to discuss diabetic foot ulcers and what to do if you develop one. Remember, everything I share is only for your information. Before making any medical decisions, you should talk to a healthcare professional first. An ulcer or wound is a break in the skin, as seen here. The main reasons people with diabetes develop foot ulcers are loss of feeling in the foot, poor blood flow to the foot, increased pressure, or direct injury to the foot. Diabetic foot ulcers have a high risk of infection, especially if you've had one for a long period of time. The infection can spread from the wound to the bone. There are antibiotics that can treat bone infection. However, if the infection destroys too much bone, the bone will need to be removed or amputated to promote better healing and provide a better functioning foot. If you develop a diabetic foot ulcer, contact your podiatrist or healthcare provider right away so they can develop a treatment plan for you. Your treatment plan will include blood work, x-ray, or MRI. Your provider will also show you how to dress or cover your wound and how to offload your wound for better healing. Offloading means reducing pressure and friction to the wound for better healing. Offloading can be done through a total contact cast, as seen here, or through a wound healing shoe, like the one I am holding. The wound healing shoe has a special insert that reduces friction and can be modified to reduce pressure on your wound. Remember, a cast and a wound healing shoe is only temporary. Once your wound is healed, your provider will need to order diabetic shoes and custom inserts to prevent another ulcer. Some important things to remember. If your foot is painful, red, hot, swollen, has pus, and a foul smell, like the wound you see here, you should report to an emergency room immediately as you may have a diabetic foot infection. This is very serious as you may need IV antibiotics to treat your infection. Also remember to only clean your diabetic foot wound with soap and water. Do not soak your foot. Do not use bleach or hydrogen peroxide to clean your ulcer as it can worsen the ulcer and the surrounding skin. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've learned about diabetic foot ulcers and how to treat them. Remember, Michigan Podiatry is here to help you with all your diabetic foot concerns.